honey, sweetie, are you okay? George, there's something wrong with Adrian. What's wrong? Hey, sport, are you okay? Uh, Mom, Dad, I think I'm oh, all right. Uh. His paws? Feel his paws. They're all clammy. You're really not looking so hot. You shouldn't be going out like this. I'll call the school. Oh, come on. You guys aren't actually buying this little crap, right? Alexa? Oh, sister, is that you? Don't even try me. Alexa, be nice. Your brother isn't well. He's a little liar. Alexa, go to school. You're going to be late. What, you guys can't be this stupid? Go to school. Ugh. I hate you all! Um, Dad, don't be angry with her. Deep down, she's really just looking out for me. You just rest up, champ. Everything will be all right. No school today. Your mother and I will check on you after work. We love you, sweetheart. They bought it! The literal worst performance of my teenage life, and they bought it. Never underestimate the power of a parent's love. The key to a good fake out is a climbing pause. And for a fox dog, that's about the easiest situation to fake. A combination of wiping your wet nose and dried slobber, and no one will be the wiser. Now, I know you must be asking, Hey Adrian, why does your jacket say 2024 in this good year of 1984? Well, I think you now know why it's my favorite jacket. A misprint at the school caused everyone's letterman order to throw them 40 years into the future. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm not a bad guy. Here's the thing. School is and always will be dumb. It's an overgrown daycare, so parents can pretend that their little angel will grow up to be a doctor or a lawyer or God forbid the president of the United States. But our school system never cared to fulfill these dreams and aspirations, even if those are your goals. So why on earth should I care? Besides, why should I be expected to go to school on a day like this? Hmm, well, point still stands. Wakey, wakey! Adrian, no! And will you just stop trying to give me a heart attack? Whoa! Get dressed. I got really cool plans for the day. I said no! I'm sick. I haven't been sleeping well and I just want to get better. Adrian, I'm really not doing so good. I promise, today's gonna be an adventure you'll never forget. Poor Oswald. He's always stuck doing something he doesn't like. And the one day there's no one to stop him from doing whatever he wants, he just gets in his own way. Well, I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't help to do something about it. But the seeds are planted, his inner inhibitions will come to the forefront. In five, four, three. Mm, I guess it would be a good idea to get away from these nightmares I've been having lately. <laughs> Bingo. Yes, Principal Zebra? That's Sir Principal Zebra. You know way better than that. Y yes, Sir Principal Zebra. Why is Adrian's attendance folder empty? Oh, um, I don't, I don't know, sir. Never mind. Just give me Adrian's parents' phone number. Oh, um, those are actually private personal numbers, and I'm not supposed to grab those as a student secretary. 
Y yes, sir, I'll get them right away. Oh, um, in just a minute. You've reached Principal Zebra's office. Student Secretary Kumi speaking. Oh, yes, sir. I can put you through. Please hold. Adrian's father is on line one. Huh. <laughs> Perfection. Do you still want me to get Adrian's father's number? Just the man I wanted to speak to, Mr. Yes, Principal Zebra. Thank you so much for answering. I understand it's a pretty busy day, as most are. Well, of course. I just wanted to call and let you know my son Adrian is very unwell today. That's what I'm wanting to... So if you could just please send his homework assignments home with Alexa, that would be splendid. He's such a hard worker. I wouldn't want his grades slipping. Do you know that Adrian has been absent nine times this semester? Nine what now? Yes. Nine times this semester, I've personally counted and signed off on them myself. This is absolutely unacceptable, and I recommend immediate action. That's uh, quite a theory there, Principal Zebra. Do you have any proof? Well, that's a, that's a little complicated at the moment. I do say, sir, if you're going to be making wild accusations like this, make sure you can back it up. I'm a little offended that you would accuse my boy of something so heinous, preposterous, scandalous even. You wouldn't want a scandal at your doorstep now, would you? Are you listening to me, Sir Principal Zebra? Oh, I'm listening, Oswald. Did Adrian put you up to this? Just having this conversation today could really ruin your record in this school, Oswald. I know Adrian must have put you up to this. Let's make a deal. Why don't you give me what I want? You don't need to be in trouble. All I need is Adrian. And you're free to go. Hmm. Do we have a deal? A deal? How dare you? Listen. I don't know who you think you are, but I demand a modicum of respect. Now you don't get to disrespect me and my family. I will have your head. Do you hear me? What a shame. That was amazing! He bought it! That was your takeaway? He called me out! But he's got nothing on you! I'm in serious trouble. Hey, he's got nothing on you. And nowhere to go. We're fine. You did good! Oswald really had the guts to keep this ruse going. It's all Adrian's fault. What is it with these kids that they like about this troublemaker? Well, he's kind of just a really righteous dude in general. Everyone likes him. See, that's the problem. No one would dare challenge him because he just kind of understands us all. Down to the jocks and the geeks. And he's so handsome. Sometimes when I dream, I just think about us together under a starry night sky in the mountains, flower petals leading straight to a hot tub overlooking a cliff, and then we... Okay, stop. Move along now. This isn't happening. Oh, yes it is. Wait. This is a bad idea. Let's just hang out in my room and do something normal, like board games or homework. Oswald, Ozzy, please think about it. You need this day most of all. A full day riding around in this exact car. Adrian, that's my dad's car. You don't understand. We are not doing a joyride. Well, let's just get us downtown while the valet park is. What's the worst that could happen? Maybe he's going to the second lot? Ah! Ozzy, you gotta calm down. We'll swing around the building. The car will be there. Trust me. We got so many plans for today. No! We don't have any plans. Not any more plans for today, or for tomorrow, or for the rest of my life! Come on. It's me we're talking here. We're buddies forever. At one point in time, we were. But you've changed. You're different. You're selfish. You don't think because the only person you care about is yourself. 
Ozzy, I, I mean, I'm sorry. Let's fix this. No. No more fixing things with you. I'm going home. Don't follow me. I'm gonna have to at least go the way you're going to get home. Don't follow me! This... This is a weird feeling. This hasn't ever happened to me before. <laughs> you found the time In a world where time is gold You can read between the Alexa, you wouldn't actually tell, would you? happening what happened oh. oh well 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 how the tables have finally turned I've been waiting for years to catch you Adrian it's about time we made an example of you aha uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, sir, Principal Zebra. It was only one day, right? You don't really have any proof of any other days out there, right? There's no reason for this. Keep talking. I'm sure you'll convince me one day. Cause today don't have to mean tomorrow. It's okay to take some time for sorrow But if you walk that road You don't have to walk alone Come home to me I'll put your mind at ease Be hard to carry alone So I'll be 